Arts Award is a nationally recognised set of qualifications for children and young people up to the age of 25. So there are four qualifications which are on the regulated qualifications framework. That's Explore, Bronze, Silver and Gold. And then there's an introductory award, uh, which is Discover. Any child or young person can take part in it and they need a trained arts award advisor to support them through it. And that might be a teacher who trains to be an arts award advisor, an artist, an education officer, youth justice. It happens across a range of settings. Arts Award covers all the different art forms. It's really wide ranging. So anything from music to pottery, creative writing to hip hop, um, it's really varied. So all the public dates for Arts Award training are available on the Arts Award website and you can just book yourself on. Um, they happen um, about once a month. So you can either book onto Discover and Explore, which is a half day, Bronze and Silver, which is a full day, and a Gold, which is a half day. And you can also request in-house training. So if you have six or more staff that you want to get trained, it's probably worth looking at the in-house training option. And that can be a partnership as well as just people within your own organisation. Currently the costs for public training are £149 for Discover and Explore and that's the half day, it's £199 for Bronze and Silver and that's the full day and it's £129 for Gold and that's another half day. The cost is less for the in-house training um, and all the details for that are on the website. The five different levels um, and there are different qualification levels um, from the introductory award up to gold which has Newcastle points. They do um, have age ranges aimed at them but that doesn't necessarily follow so you might be a young person at uh, 24 but you might do discover and that's where you're working at and that's absolutely fine. For bronze, silver and gold you need to be at least 11 at the point of moderation but obviously gold is um, level three, it has the UCAS points, so it's kind of working at the standard of doing A levels. so that's really what you need to bear in mind. So first you really probably need to decide what level you might be doing, and that might be linked to age range or ability of your children and young people. So book onto the appropriate training via the website, and then there's lots of information about what, on the website about Arts Award. So there's case studies from schools, there's an Arts Award YouTube channel and you can watch some videos from children, young people and schools about it. And then once you've done the training, um, there are lots of resources to support you with planning, um, so mapping tools, there's templates you can use, there's arts logs that you can purchase which will get you started. And then there's also the free support that Arts Award offer that you can access as a trained advisor. If you go onto the Arts Award website, all the public dates are on there and you can just book directly onto one of those. And there's information about the in-house training, which you request at least four weeks in advance. And you can get a date and time to suit you if you want to be in-house. Once you've done the training and you're a trained advisor, you're responsible for doing the assessments. So for each of the levels, it's a one page A4 sheet that you complete and mark for each child or young person who's taking part. For Discover, it doesn't get externally moderated, but for Explore and above, that needs to be externally moderated. So you'll need to book a moderation, whether that's postal or you have a standard moderation with someone coming to you at your venue to look at it. Time-wise, you need to book a standard moderation at least eight weeks in advance. And then once you've made the payment, you'll get certificates um, kind of four to six weeks later. People run Arts Awards really differently. So some might do bronze in a week, others might do it over six months. So the time scale really depends on um, how you're implementing it and your children and young people. There isn't a time limit, you can take as 
uh, as long as you need to for the children and young people, my advice would be not to let it drag on too long because that can be a bit demotivating sometimes. But each of the awards has a, a total qualification time and that's the average amount of time it takes to complete the award. So it's worth checking that out on the website for your planning really. There's a range of free support for Arts Award advisors available, so please make use of it. Um, you can book one-to-one -one support visits, or you can get remote support. There's also surgeries that we do um, across the year on different topics, and that's a really good opportunity to meet other advisors and experienced advisors and trainers and moderators. Arts Award are also running webinars now that you can book onto and Culture Bridge North East are a really good source of support as well.